Sang on its side yesterday or the day before, I think. Yeah, coming up of this. Watch it, it's, oh, it's all beating it. It's all crooked, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'll just lug that over, Andy, eh? Yeah, yeah.
already. Oh. I like oh. this. That's just simple. Okay mate, cheers. We'll look out for them. Yeah, we've got the others coming the other way. Yeah, you said... Yeah, right. Right. Can we just keep going then? Until we get back here. Yeah, it's Yeah. Oh, it's very. Yeah. Well, it's all on nothing, nothing, yeah. Yeah. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice to see you. Yes, how are you? This is Claude. Hello, Claude. Very nice to meet you. Last time.
with so much going on, I think. are miniature railways are portable and so on but this is one that's just seen permanence and so beautifully laid out that uh, we all thought it would be here forever unfortunately it's not going to be here forever and we're here today I think we should say to celebrate yeah. Ted's yeah, work yeah, Ted and Irene's work and we note what's happened we've seen it and the Sun has shone today yeah, on this occasion which will be memorable for the right reasons so I have to thank, on behalf of all the Haywards who've come, and it's a tremendous turnout, I have to say, uh, I have to thank the friends of the railway here who kept it going, made it go over many years, and who are responsible for it. And I have to thank Peter here and his team. There's two teams been working on this for, again, affecting today as well, and also affecting a future for much of the equipment that is here. So it's a tremendous day really. We're not just noting the end and celebrating the end. There is a new beginning. Yeah. And a lot of this material will stay together and we'll be able to see it again. But on behalf of all the Haywood people here today, I'd like to thank Peter. I'd like to thank the friends for keeping it going, keeping it alive. Uh, we've had a wonderful afternoon. So, as a Haywood Society, can we show our appreciation and remember Ted at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> I would just like to thank again everybody for coming. Um, I started as a, as a concrete mixer and shutterer for Ted in 1984. Um, and for me, Ted was an absolute inspiration. He, he was a, an incredible engineer, but I think a, a visionary. And, and certainly for me, new into the hobby, he was just exactly what, what I needed. And what it's taught me over the years, since 84, is that our incredible hobby may be about steam engines and modern running railways. What it's fundamentally about is friends and people of all ages coming together with a shared interest. And the people that I've met through coming to TED's and, and ultimately through going to the Ladder Hill Railway and meeting Robert and others, you know, I just want to be able to take that forward in my life. I don't think we own engines, we are merely custodians. Same with the railway. We, we are just taking it on a journey through our life into the next one. So I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody. 
I really want to say a huge thanks to the Treetops gang, who are kind of here somewhere. Um, everybody's welcome to come to the Treetops Railway. We're in Halton. We're in construction at the moment, but we want to take Ted and his incredible engineering forward for the next generation. So thank you very much for coming. Yeah. Thank you.